Hi, this is yeah. Team82. Um, I'm Patrick. I'm one of the developers on this project. Also with us here today in the studio is Nathan, Savannah, and Ryan. All right, so we're going to start up our demo for uh, Milestone 6. Um, we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a name. Usually I use Tess, but today we're going to be John. So Milestone 6 added limited plot space. Um, as you can see, we only have three plots right now. All these other plots have some pesky locks over them. And uh, if we wanted to show that we actually can't do any more, uh, we'll see that all of the plots are taken up by some dead plants <laughs> and we can't actually plant anything. That's great. We already see those working. And uh, I'm going to go and restart this real quick just because we just completely ruined everything there and all our crops died, so we already kind of lost. But anyways, so going on, as you can see, you can also buy plots and we'd be able to import uh, or put in more crops as we progressed and had more money, but we're kind of poor right now. Another feature that was added is actually machinery, farm machinery and the energy bar. So as you can see, we have two energy bars up here in the top right. You have one based on harvesting and you have one based on your watering. So you can only do so much per day. As you see, I just watered this crop once and we've taken a hit on our bar. I'm gonna buy some more crops here and we're gonna put those down. And as we water them some more, I have no more water energy. And if I try to water anymore, I'm too tired to water. And that won't reset until I hit next day. So let's go and do that. You'll see that we had a crop die because it didn't have enough water because I was too tired to water it. Um, and as we go on, so you'll see we can water again. And if we just go through a whole cycle here, we have a fully grown plant now and we can harvest it. And that takes some of our harvesting energy as well. And the same thing would happen if we happen to have more than a, more than one crop to harvest in one day and we had too many crops, then we would run out of energy and not be able to harvest it. Now, if we want to increase how much energy we have, we can go to our upgrades by an irrigation upgrade. And for each upgrade you get, you get three more, uh, three more actions per day. So as you can see, there's a significantly uh, smaller portion of the bar that was taken there. Once again, I am too poor to actually buy anything. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's our main features. As for the extra credit, we implemented saving. We're going to show that real quickly here. I'm going to buy a rice seed, and I'm also going to go buy a sheep. We're going to go place them. We have a little sheep, our seed. I water them, give them some some stuff. We'll feed the sheep real quick. We're going to save. Go back to the start menu. Now you see we have John on day one. We click it. We go right back to this. And just to show you that everything gets reset, this is a new day. Or this is a new save, which is completely different, even though I didn't change the name. And that's the extra credit for Milestone 6. So we're going to go hire a worker. So you can see that there's an efficiency rating of from 1 to 5 stars, or 0 to 5 stars. And that shows you how fast they walk from crop to crop or perform their actions. So we're, we went ahead and hired someone. Um, so let's go back to the farm and let's see uh, Lewis in action. So Lewis was a fairly high rated um, person. So you can see that he's moving pretty quickly to get tasks done. Um, and if we continue to watch him for a little bit longer, he'll go over to water crops and do certain actions such as harvesting or other things that need to be done within the farm. So you can see him right now, he's going over to the uh, plant right there to water it. So let's see Lewis perform an action. There you go, Lewis is doing great. Yeah. And we didn't have enough money for Lewis, so Lewis left the farm because we didn't have enough money for his wages. So we're going to show uh, Daniel doing some action. So Daniel is one of our workers. He's relatively quick uh, walking around and doing things. So he's going to go over there and he's going to harvest um, one of our crops. So you can see him going down, grabbing the crop. 
and you can see right by his name there's a little icon showing the harvested crop that he's currently holding in his hand and he's going to the market right now to sell that crop for you and then you'll automatically get the money for that crop also we have some so products can... from these animals Uh, so now we just want to show our game over screen, which happens when you don't have any seeds to sell, or you don't have any seeds to plant, no crops to sell, and you have less than $5. So we're just going to spam some of these upgrades to make us broke. And then when we click that, we should lose. So we lost on day one and made no money overall. And we have the option to make a new game if we want, but we lost. Okay, so in this case, if we lose the game after save, we're able to have the option to go back to a previous save. So we'll kill off this plant. Now we just lost the game. We can either start a new game or we have the option of going back to that previous save. So if we reload the last save, we should have that seed still planted from before. Okay, so for... Um... This scenario, we're going to show the effectiveness of the fertilizer. So we have planted two of the same seeds, and we're going to apply fertilizer to one of them so it will grow faster. Um, so as you see, like we're clicking the next day um, and watering the plant. And um, one of the corn plants is ready for harvesting, and the other one is not. So that was our demo for uh, Team 82's project, uh, Farming Simulator 2020. Um, so we hope that you try out our project and don't forget to smash that like button. Make sure to share this game with your mother. And uh, vote for our, for our project and we'll give 10 more minutes of recess. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>